you. Long time no see. Okie dokie, breads and cookie, let's go! Hey, Tachimari san, gambatte kudasai. So, first match is gonna be none other than Leo versus Tachimawari. Let's see how this pans out. Tachimari rocking that bad, that mean, that lean, mean, thin machine, if I might say. So, let's see how this pans out. So, Leo is an adept of uh, the game. He's a, pretty much a pro player right now. He is currently sponsored by none other than the Ibushigin. Um, organization which also houses Roy who is also participating to today's uh, tournament and uh, yeah overall very very solid uh, very solid Faust he's been he has won I do believe the Australian uh, Arc Revo uh, major and uh, which makes it so that he's qualified for the Arc Revo finals which will take place this year by the way so yeah extremely strong uh, Faust player and uh, Tachima Oisan, unfortunately, I do not have any info regarding, uh, well, their current status as a pro player or whatnot. I haven't had the pleasure of seeing them either, neither on the Celestial floor or in tournaments. But uh, currently, well, obviously, right now, they just lost the first uh, the first round. But it doesn't really mean much because it's the first round and it's Kelty Gears, right? And also, uh, we have to take into note that he was able to take much more than half of the life of uh, Leo down. So this is a big feat by itself. So let's see, here we go with Tachimawari trying to corner Leo. Leo really doing a good job of getting out of it. He was able to sniff that DP out, try to go for the command grab, but a little bit off on the timing. Wow, very nice read right there on the grab from Leo. Went for the back dash, but by, got hit by the close S counter hit from Tachimawari. Some nice TP, should be able to get, okay, the corner positioning at least. He sniffed the DP yet again, went for the grab in order to get a position switch. There we go with the save jump. Nice back dash right there from Tachimawari to not get hit by the grab. Goes for a full combo into the Tyrant Ray. Oh, even gets the wall break. I didn't think he would. A good stuff from Tachimawari. Tried to go for the overhead, but man, Leo waking up with uh, standing key. Goes straight into the Roman cancel into the uh, overdrive in order to get the win. First map. Oh, actually, it's not enough. It is enough with the OTG. Good stuff from Leo gets the first match. Hey guys, give me just a couple of seconds so I can check the uh, the, 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 the what's called the tournament bracket itself, so that just to see if everything is fine. Okay, everything's fine. Yeah, everything's fine. Grab Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Here as well. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, okay, I can focus on the match. This is perfect. And just as I turn my head, Leo is already rocking that overdrive. Is it going to get a wall break? Yes, it is. Hard knockdown for the win. Go straight for a 3K. But man, Tachimawari not agreeing with the terms right there. Wakes up with a DP right away. Goes for a setup to get a midi. Um, how do you call it? Um, it's not an elk hunt, it is the other one, I forgot, but it's fine. Anyways, here we go with, oh man, right at the start of the freaking round. Tachimawari going straight for the DP, oh, and Leo manages to land right straight on him, gets the the, the hard knock, the, um, the counter hit. Ooh, he's got the meteorites, and Tachimawari knowing that Leo would go straight for the teleport in order to get a side switch and get the meteorites to hit him. Uh, cross up. Wow, that was an unfortunate attempt right there to get a meaty from Tachimawari. Got grabbed in the process, got hit by the close S straight into the overdrive. Let's see how this spins out. Things are looking pretty good for Leo. And boom, there we go with the hard knockdown. What is Leo gonna do? Goes for, ooh. Okay, nice. Oh man, he did get hit by the, oh no, by the lunge. And here we go with the grab for the kill. That's how he does take the second round of the second match though. It's definitely not as easy as what we'd have expect right now, but Leo did manage to get the, uh, what's it called, the command grab manages to not only sniff the burst, but also the DP. Goes straight for the, oh no, the wild assault uh, combo, but drops it in between. And here we go with the grab, and Tatsimawari is definitely not out of it yet. Gets the close S into the Tyrant Rave. Look at the damage, though. Look at the damage. Sin definitely up there when it comes to damage output. Goes for a very, very deep 2S and manages to get the, the second match, actually. 1-2-1, one, one. we have a 
Let's hi, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this spins out, yo. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, and here we go with uh, the... Uh, just one second, guys. Very good, very good. We are good indeed. Okay, here we go with the burst from Tachimaori. Wanted to get out of harm's way, but gets command grab. Man, how did Leo find the gap in order to get that command grab right into block stun? Right into hit stun. That was really, really good stuff from him. And but gets hit a lot right there with the lunge, man, from uh, Tachimaori. And Tachimaori running a pretty big train right now. Not gonna lie, but here we go with Leo managing to get the freaking juggle off of the bomb. And almost got the juggle again, and he tried to, oh, he tried to read a DP right there. Oh, here we go, the close pass, and Tachimori getting the first run of the th second match, of the third match, man, that's crazy. What the hell? What is going on? Is Tachimori actually going to commit it? Is he going to send Leo in the freaking loser's bracket right on the first match? It's definitely looking very good for Tachimori right now. Damn, what the hell? Here we go with the mix, 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 and Leo trying to put some distance between him and Tachimaori. Definitely, probably not a very easy, uh, a very easy, what's called, a very easy matchup for, for Faust, if I might say. And that being said, boom, here we go. I'm going to break your ankle, little mother humper. Here we go. And ankle is broken, but not dead yet. It can definitely go both ways, and here we go with the wake up rat, the lightning. Leo, man, getting hit by it. That's unfortunate. And here we go with the BG drive. No, the wild assault almost got the kill. And here we go with the wake up overdrive cancel into the well into the Roman cancel straight into the grab for the kill. Man, Leo hanging to dear life, man. Good lord. And again with the start of the freaking round, right with the uh, hog breaker, the hog baker. I'm sorry. Oh, good lord. And here we go with the mix, mix, mix. Leo should be able to get the wall break, but Tachimari said nope. I'm using my burst to not give you the positive bonus, and here we go, and uh, this is the follow Leo, though, trying to reset the, the, trying to reset, to put, um, what's called, to put gaps in his, in his combos in order to reset the damage. He was a little bit too, uh, yeah, he was definitely a little bit too, uh, too greedy. Oh, Lord, but it's still fine now to ride the lightning, but he still was able to Roman Castle and get out of harm's way. It was definitely very, very close right there. Yeah, you can see Leo trying to bait that DP. He got the grab. Is that not enough to kill, though? Oh, Lord. Ooh, that was so close. Oh, the Hogmaker for the kill. Man, for the kill. What the hell? Hey, Tachi Maori took the freaking lead. That is crazy. What is going to happen, man? Is Leo going to be sent to the loser's bracket right on the first round, on the first match? That would be crazy. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's still believe. No, oh, and Leo getting hit again by the DP, man. Oh, and here we go, the command grab, good stuff from Leo. It's fine, should be able to go for the, uh, the safe jump. Okay, he did force, ah, uh, Lord Tashimawari, for the grab, for the, uh, did force him to, to burst. Let's see, here we go, okay, Hogbaker has been punished this time around. Leo not letting this one go for free, <laughs> and, and damn, damn sure as well, he should not. Good stuff from Leo. Okay, finally got it, but gets hit by the Hogmaker yet again. Here we go with the freaking corner pressure. <clears throat> okay, here we go with the safe jump. You can see again Leo trying to... Oh, no, getting hit by the peak diver, uh, the peak driver again. Here we go with the switch. Ah, the mix, mix, mix. Not enough to get the corner. Yeah, the corner. The Oh! Here we go with the freaking teleportation station. Went for the 2k. The 3k, I'm sorry. And the 6p for the kill. Okay, okay, okay. We're back in business. 2-2. Two to two. This is the first match of the of the evening, guys. The first freaking match. And we already have a very, very, very hot uh, match right now. This is crazy good, man. Good stuff from Leo. Okay, he was able to bring it back. Is he going to be able to seal the deal? Or is... Tachimori gonna force him in the loser's bracket. Nice spacing right there from Leo. Was able to get the punish on that with uh, a peak driver. A big driver, I'm sorry. Ah, hmm. uh, nice bar right there. And nice punish on the Hog Baker. He's got the air to air. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can see Leo going for the spacing. Didn't use the burst because he knew that the wig was on fire. 
Oh, okay, nice pacing again, but then again, gets it, yo. What the hell? Oh no, you hate to see it. And here we go. This is a wall break for Tachimori, but he's gonna get in by the wake up overdrive. Good stuff from Leo. And here we go, man, with the potential final, final, potential final round of this match. Let's see, let's see. And here we go with the ah, the big driver. Ah, nice freaking. Oh no! That was an unfortunate backdash. And Leo getting hit by the fully charged dust. And here we go with the wall break. Good lord. What's gonna happen? Oh, here we go with the overhead come. Boom! It's time to go play some golf. <laughs> here we go with the overhead. Look at Tachimawari not. Not ready. Oh, gets the 2S into the peak, the big driver. He's gonna get the wall switch. Is that gonna be enough to kill? And it is. We are going down to the last round of the last match. Who's gonna take it? Good lord, I'm, I'm scared. Oh, okay, nice pacing. Okay, he's got the knockdown. What's gonna happen? Here we go with the oh, with the spear. Nice combo right there. Okay, Leo definitely wary of the big, the the hog baker. Doesn't want to be hit by it. And understandably so. Here we go with the 6 speed. Nice confirm from Tashima. We go straight into the overdrive. Look at the damage. Good lord. And here we go with the 2S. Leo forced to pop the burst. And here we go with the bomb. Now Leo gets hit by the 6 speed. No. What's going to happen? Ooh. Wait, Hogbaker. No Hogbaker for you. Oh, here we go with the, the freaking teleport. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Oh, he's going for the mix, mix, mix. Is that enough to kill? Yes, it is. And Leo clutches it out. Thank you, Mikuri. Eh, to, was done. Yes, yes. Well, no, no. But it's not bad. It's really good. Eh, to Tachimawa-san, it's really good. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, Okay, anyways, here we go with the second match of tonight. It's going to be none other than Trochan versus Norio. So, I did have, uh, for some, uh, you know, insight, I did have the privilege of uh, playing against Protochan. He's an extremely strong Anji player. I unfortunately don't have much tick uh, regarding Norio. I do believe he did uh, give us the honor of participating to previous iterations of the Brojo Cup at least once. But I unfortunately I do not remember his performance. But it's going to be fine. We have, you know, we have a lot of very, very strong uh, players playing this tournament, and it's always great to discover new blood. Just as we discovered, for example, Tatsuma Orisan, who was a very, very strong uh, sim player. So yeah, let's see how this pans out. And Norio, look at that. Look at the combo. Should be able to get the wall break. No, he drops it. And gonna get it hit right there, right in the uh, middle of his animation for the back dash, unfortunately for him. Because Proto-chan used the Roman Cancel to slow time down and was able to confirm that Norio was currently trying to backdash. That being said, it is not over till the silver. And look at Norio. Oh no, trying to get the hit right there. But uh, Frodo Chan using the uh, wild reverse to get out of uh, harm's way is gonna get. Oh, okay. Wants to keep the corner pressure. And here we go with Norio using uh, using Roger as a way to delay their uh, landing timing, which definitely worked in their favor. And here we go with the combo loops right there with Proto-chan. Goes for the grab and gets the kill. And we have the first match going to Proto-chan. It's definitely fine. It's fine. It's not, nothing to worry about. The first match is usually, you know, a collection of data for uh, both players. And it's up to the better player to really make use of this information in order to seal the deal in later. Uh, oh, iteration of the uh, fight. That being said, here we go with uh, the Nagiha from Proto-chan, making use of the Shitsu. And goes for the overhead this time around, forcing in order to pop the burst. Ah, uh, here we go with Norio, man, using the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle roll. Nagiha again. Ooh, uh, you can see right there Proto-chan making good use of the uh, fans right there to delay their landing as well, not to get hit by the 6P. And Proto-chan should be able to take it with the overhead. And the damage of the uh, wall break. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go with the Fujin. Norio with the close-up pressure. Didn't uh, throw there. Uh, Yo-Yo right there goes for the 
Somersault, and here we go with a nice little combo right there. Should be able to get the wall break. Yes, he does. And here we go with the uh, the rock the baby, not the rock the baby, <laughs> the loop the loop. <laughs> okay, finally, Protochon forced to pop the burst, and Norio should be able to seal the deal. That being said, ah, yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, guts is gonna be a factor, but we're safe. It was good stuff right there. Anyways, here we go with... Ooh, the 4 H right there. Counter hit. That did a ton of damage. And here we go with Rock the Baby. With the combo, with the Yoyo that was right there on standby. Good stuff from Norio. Gets the close combo. Baited the burst. Should be able to seal the deal. And goes with Loop the Loop. Kaboom. Loop that, mother humper. <laughs> Good stuff from... Norio got the second match, yo. We have very tight matches today. What the hell is going on? Everybody was really eager to play uh, the Brojo Cup, man. So you can see that every single player is very motivated to actually, uh, you know, win and just continue. That being said, one second, guys. Just check in the brackets real quick. Just be sure that everything is going smooth as butter. Okay, we're good, we're good. Everything fine, fine. And here we go with the food, Gene. Protochan going low, got the juggle, catching Norio, trying to backdash. Yo, Marisa, how are you doing? Welcome back. And here we go with the side. Kaboom, get out of here. Look at my fans, look at my beautiful fans. And here we go with Protochan going for the safe jump, but unfortunately wasn't that safe. And the Nagiha, right? Ooh, that was a little bit too far for you, Protochan. That's unfortunate. Unfortunately for him, he uh, unwillingly probably caused himself to uh, get a uh, cross under, which made it so that he dropped his combo and Protoshan would have otherwise won the match, but still won it, by the way, due to an unfortunately timed uh, Okizuma right there from Nori who ended up getting grabbed. Oh, but nice. Uh, here we go with the DP from Protoshan, should be able to get the wall break. Doing good, woke up a bit late, but we bow. How's it going? It was doing pretty good, man. You missed one hell of a nice uh, match. Just before this one was Leo versus uh, a newcomer whose name is uh, Tachimawari. And that match was fire, man. I encourage you to check the uh, the archives whenever they come out because that was a crazy freaking match. Anyways, here we go with the perfect from Protochan. Manages to take the third match pretty uh, pretty convincingly. I did the Normaya grind by uh, be looking. Uh, I think I'm going to go back with UL. <laughs> Normaya, I really love the character. I love everything about the character, but... I, I think she's just not for me. I managed to get to S3 or S2, I think, grinding offline. But yeah, I'm going back to UL, chances are. I just feel like more natural with UL, and that's about it. But yeah, but it's fine. But maybe if I, once I get UL to master, maybe I'll, you know, I'll try to grind Narmaya once again. But yeah, I'm going to go to UL, yeah, probably. Chances are, yeah. UL's so cool, man. I love her. And she, it just feels more natural when I play with you all. That being said, here we go, man, with Norio trying to, for a comeback. Really grinding for it right now. Okay, going for the, oh, the yo-yo and forcing Protochan to pop a the burst, the golden burst. And here we go with the Nagiha catching the backdash once again. And ladies and gentlemen, we are on a potential match point right now. Protochan absolutely needs to win this one. Uh, well, uh, Norio absolutely needs to win this one if he wants to say that. I, uh, I streamed the game recently. And picked a different character and it went better than expected. Instead of Fairy, I played Loane. Oh really? That's that's um that's surprising. Loane is like deemed like low tier if I'm correct. So he's not like considered one of the uh, the you know the best character in the game. That being said, Fairy as well, I think definitely less strong than the vanilla uh, Grand Blue Fantasy. And here we go with the side from Trotochan, gonna get that hard knockdown, goes for the two S catches! Norio standing and just like this, Roto Chattel gonna be Usui Elu, also known as Usui Johnny versus Garuda, also known as. Uh, wait, why is it Garuda though? Didn't I update the name? Wait one second. This is actually Konsome, by the way. Yeah, here we go. Konsome. Yeah, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go with the Potomkin Buster! Okay, so Usui uh, Elu, also known as Usui Johnny, who used to be a very strong, uh, what's her name, uh, Bridget player, then moved on to Johnny, and now is, wow, that was sick, 
That juggle though from Konsome, good lord. Good stuff. Anyways, there we go with the second round. It is really just the first uh, round of this match. So let's see how this pans out. There we go with the slider ahead of Garuda, of, uh, of Konsome trying to get that knockdown that's so much needed knockdown in order to apply his pressure. Let's see how this pans out. And Potemkin uh, going for the slider head again, goes for this hammer fall. And the Garuda Impact, we are in Limbo Shirt. Oh, he wanted that. He wanted that. He wanted that bird so much. <laughs> Here we go with the Hammer Fall. And it is a Garuda Impact. Slider head right there for the. Whoa! No! He messed up his. Uh, uh, he wanted to do the forward Mega Fist, unfortunately for him. And here we go. We are in the 50 50 right there. Nice blocks by, uh, by Consume, by the way. Goes for the White uh, Wild Assault. And is going to corner L. Forcing them in the corner. And Consume, here we go with the first match, actually. One pretty convincingly, not going to lie. We're not out of... Um, we, we're, there's always a possibility for uh, Usui L to resort to <laughs> returning to his roots, which means him uh, ended up playing with uh, Johnny or potentially Bridget. It's not out of uh, the realms of possibility. Anyways, here we go with the... Oh no, I tried to go for the grab! Very nice... Very nice, um, how do you call this? Uh, very nice uh, reflex right there from Musu L to actually Roman cancel out of their animation right there, their whiffed animation. And here we go with uh, Usu L, unfortunately, got hit by the Mega Fist right there. Uh, and again, Konsome man using, using the freaking quick. Uh, dust in order to open their opponent up and doing it so rightfully, man. Very nicely, very nicely done. And here we go with the Garuda Impact. We are back in the uh, in the pressure. And here we go with the Pine Bomb. And oh, did he catch? No, he didn't. That is unfortunately for him. UCL tried to go for a uh, how do you call it? Try to go for a... Ooh, wow, look at the damage. Try to go for an option select actually right there. And here we go with the reflect. Uh, try to go for the quick dust into the Potomkin Buster for the kill. Consume, man, taking the second match as well. What is this sweet L gonna do? What is this sweet L gonna do? Oh yeah, here we go with the Hammer Fall. Trying to catch Usui L on his back dash. And Consume resorting to use it, the gold backdash in order to get the positive bonus and manage to do so. That being said, here we go with... Oh, Lord! UCL with the freaking overdrive right there. The Jugan Toda Parfeo. <laughs> nice Gerudo Impact right there. Go straight for the Potemkin Buster yet again. Oh, nice hammer fall right there into the Garuda, and this should do. Yes, it is. We are already on set point. Let's see if, uh, yeah, Usui L is going to be able to bring it back. It's going to be hard, man. Oh, get wild assault right there from Consummit. Trying to get that risk gauge to fill up as much as possible so that once he opens them up. Wow, what was that? That butts fall, man. That was crazy. Here we go with the close pressure and the freaking hammer fall into the pot buster and this should be it. Yeah, this is enough. Good stuff from Consome. Takes it a clean three to nil. Yes, Roy versus Magana. I do believe Magana is actually a uh, pretty strong player. I think they go by the name of. Um, I forgot the name, but I think they're actually a pretty famous biking player. I forgot the actual name though. Thank you very much for the follow, Tachimaui-san, and welcome to the Brojo, and good good luck for the tournament as well. And here we go with Megane going for the save jump right there. Goes for the close 6 age. Try to go for the cross up Eos Onsen. Fortunately for him, Roy was aware of this and managed to block. Greatly, very nice experience there from Roy. Couldn't quite get a follow up, but did force Megane to pop the burst. Nice spacing right there from Megane. Managed to get the 6, the 2 HS. Here we go again. Ooh, nice Vortex to low profile the jumping S from Megane. Should be able to get the wall break. Yes, they do. And here we go with Roy with the Tyrant. Ray! Oh, <laughs> Okay. Here we go with Roy. A little bit worried, probably, of the Hiragi. Didn't want to get hit by it. Nice grab right there from Megane. Oh, is that going to be enough? Yes, it is. 
good stuff from again. It takes the first round. Let's see if Ibushi and Roy can manage to bring it back. Well, it's only one round, though. It's not that big of a deal. There we go. The blocks back in the neutral. Punish attempt right there from uh, Megana did get the entire. Goes for the delayed Yozansen and even gets the pickup later on using the Yozansen to break the wall. Here we go. The Kabari gets the juggle as well. And man, Roy, here we go. Roy not afraid, just waking up with DP. Ooh, that was a very scary. Uh, a very scary. Ooh, nice 2S right there from Roy. Ah, Roy got Kabari. Here we go the Bandit Bringer. We have the close S pressure. And again, Roy. Roy there going for the yeah, 50-50. And man, Megane on point with the uh with the how do you call it? With the vlogs though. Here we go with the jumps right there from Roy should be able to get the wall break. No, it doesn't, but it does get the close S. And the Fafnir for the kill. One round of peace. Okay, well, it's actually pretty close. Well, as expected from Megane, I forgot their name there. They actually have another name. And I forgot which one it is. It's uh, I, I, it's gonna come back to me eventually. But they they are a very uh famous player in Japan, very famous biking player. And I forgot their their actual name. But it's fine, it's fine. They did uh, win a previous Brojo Cup tournament actually, facing against Dar Darino, I think. They did manage to win against uh, them. So extremely strong biking player. And here we go, the Kabari for the wall break. Okay, was gonna be indeed follow up. We shall see. Ah man, Roy going straight through the tatami doesn't give a hell, doesn't give a heck. <laughs> oh, and here we go with the close-up pressure for Megane for the kill. Wins the Abari se uh, session right there. First match goes to Megane. Let's see if Roy can uh, manage to bring it back. We shall see. It's only the first match, so it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. And on to the second match. Okay, guys, I'm just checking the bracket real quick to see if everything is going fine, and it should be the case. And here we go with uh, the grab. Ooh, man! Roy waking up with the standing K, man, doesn't give a shite. Okay, what is going to happen? Nice grab right there from Megane. Oh, I'll try to go for the Kabari, but man! Nice stuff, that was uh, that was definitely um, on purpose. And here we go with the overdrive from uh, from Megane. Okay, the Kabare has been applied and the air grab has been done. First round of the second match goes to Megane. And on to the second round of the second match. Tatami Gaishi. Nice air grab, man. D has been on point with that. Not afraid of the wake up DP from Roy. Uh, managed to get the Kabari. Got the big Kabari, too. Roy finally forced to pop the burst. And okay, yeah, you can see Megane trying to bait that DP right there from Roy. And using the Kabari uh, as a spacing tool, and rightfully so. Very nice for us right there. Got the follow up of the Kabari. That is going to be a little bit far to kill, is it though? Oh, but using the Wall Assault to close it out. Oh, drops the last hit, but it's still fine. Gets the grab for the kill. Good stuff from Megane. Take the second match as well. Yo, taking the lead and on the verge of sending Roy in the loser's bracket. Good lord. What is it? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? And you can see Leo cheering on Roy right there in the chat. But for now, it's actually going every everything going into uh, towards Megane's side right now. I'm not gonna lie, Megane really doing a very good job right now. Uh, 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 ooh, that was really really close by Roy with the air to air, forcing Megane to pop the burst. I think his name is Ninomiya actually. Ninomiya Megane, I think, I think so, I'm not quite sure. Ninomiya was it? I don't remember. Nino, Ninomiya, right? I think, I think it's him, yeah. But anyways, Megane, yeah. It, it might be, uh, uh, Ninomiya? Ninomae? Ninomae? I don't remember, man. But I think it's either Ninomiya or Ninomae. Megane is, very, very strong player. And man, managed to be on set point. What is gonna happen? Good lord. Here we go, the Tatami Gaishi and Megane getting hit by the 2k, right uh, the 2, the 2d. Here we go, the safe jump, but unfortunately time right there and Roy, we come with the, the standing k, man, not afraid. Okay, let's see how this spins out. No oh, lord! And Megane, man, doing a good job of spacing it out, not getting hit by Roy, forcing him to really play his game. 
We go with the RC and man, Roy with the DP right in the air. Still manages to hit big on it. It's not over till it's over. Here we go, the, the bandit. Nice stuff. Too far to get the last hit right there. And man, look at this big on it getting hit by the by the command grab and goes for the cross under for the kill. Roy not out of this yet. Okay, here we go. On to potentially the final match of uh, this set. Here we go, the close Kabari. Bandit bringer yet again. Good stuff from Megane. Back and ooh, back in the corner. And Roy waking up with the DP, man. Not afraid. Ooh, Megane popping that uh, yellow room in cancel too and getting hit by the vortex, unfortunately for him. He was right in the middle of throwing that Kabari out there. Roy going for the wild assault in order to get a hard knockdown. Definitely doesn't want Megane to move the left and right. Go to close up press, sure, and the 50 50. Who managed to get that the, the for S man? But man, Megane with the freaking guard, man. Look at the guard of this man. Ooh, and here we go to wake up a bar from Megane. What is gonna happen? One more hit was all that was needed. Good stuff from Roy staying alive and finally putting one on the board. Definitely not out of this yet. Let's see how this spins out. And on to the next battle. Wow, and the DP straight from Roy doesn't want to deal with any type of pressure. Very nicely timed burst right there from Megane. Managed to keep Roy in the corner, but man. Roy, man, with the freaking... Oh no, gets the close S. Straight into the Tyrant Race. Let's see how this spins out. Oh lord, and the wake up a bar from Megane again. Working out for them, man. Ah, he uses the 2S right there to prevent Roy probably sniffing. Oh, Lord! Good stuff from Roy. And that freaking OS too. He was definitely sniffing that uh, that cross up Yozon Sen. And man, Roy definitely unleashing the beast right now, man. Not afraid. Oh, almost got hit by the Kabari. And here we go with the Tatami. The, the Tatami guy shit. Try to control neutral right there. Ooh, and you did the vortex to low profile the Kabari, man. Roy getting more and more and more and more used to the tempo right now. Ooh, nice late. Yozansen almost got the juggle, but Roy was forced to pop the burst. Ooh, that was a big Fafnir. Uh, Fafnir? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, here we go with the Tatami Gaishi, and the mixes are real. Not enough to kill, though. Ooh, here we go to Tatami Gaishi. The grab for the kill it is yes it is okay we got it again on a match point set point let's see if roy can save it yet again it only needs one ah oh, lord things are looking pretty good for roy and then the fafnir right there uses the wild assault to keep the pressure going doesn't get the wall break but this is death yeah this is definitely death bye bye tyrant rave oh, good lord where is your guts when you need it i do not know but Roy managing to take that fourth match. And we're going down to the wires, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to take it? We shall see in a couple of seconds. Four minutes at most. Okay, already Megane forced about the burst. Getting hit by the bandit bringer as well. This is not a good look. I'm not going to lie. And here we go with... Oh, the closest counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage. Got the Megane she indeed. Uh, getting hit by the close S. The standing cam, sorry. Oh, no, nice cross under right there from Megane using the slowdown of the Roman cancel. Should be able to get the wall break. And they do. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Oh, Lord, man. Again, this is the third, the third freaking, uh, I forgot how you call it. The third freaking uh, set point. So if Megane takes it, he takes it all. Roy needs to win this one. Oh, no, got it by the, the, the freaking jumping as you did it. Here the closest, closest. Careful there. Yeah, he's definitely wary of the vortex. Does not want to get hit by it. And just as I said, he got hit by it. And Roy using the wild assault to get the extension station for the wall break and the positive bonus. What's gonna happen? We shall. Oh, big bandit bringer. No, oh, no, Shiragi on the wake up. You ain't just yet. Oh, here we go to closest. Uh, the said the jumping ass. I sent a vortex. Here we go to Tatami guy. She. Oh, nice Kabari. Nah, man, definitely wary of the DP right there. Ooh, almost got hit by the 2D. You hate to see it. 
Oh, and managed to get. No, what was that? Oh, no, Megane, you might have left it. Oh, and he gets the Yozansen for the kill and sends Roy in the loop. Ah, bah oui. C'était sur. Euh, C'était sur le jeu de, de Samurai, là. Il me semble. Le jeu de Samurai. Euh, merde. Euh, J'ai oublié le nom d'ailleurs. Euh, Shadow, Shadow, non pas Shadow, euh, si c'est Shadow, Shadow, merde, comment ça s'appelle Sur l'île là, on est un samouraï, il faut libérer l'île des, 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 des mongols, j'ai oublié, j'ai oublié le nom. Voilà, Sensei Sama, voilà, 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 c'est ça. Mais je me souviens, je me souviens, je me souviens. Sensei Sama, je me souviens, c'est juste que ton blaze m'a un petit peu induit en erreur. Si ton blaze était Sensei Sama, j'aurais su exactement qui t'étais dès le départ. Mais c'est vrai que sur Twitch, comme je t'ai pas parlé, euh, enfin depuis très longtemps, et qu'on s'est parlé beaucoup plus sur, euh, sur Discord, euh, c'est vrai que j'ai bah, j'ai pas tilté on va dire. Mais ouais, ouais t'inquiète, Ghost of Tsushima, voilà. Je sais plus pourquoi j'ai dit fantôme, je sais pas quoi. Mais, mais bon, oui, c'était sur Ghost of Tsushima. Mais tu vois, je m'en souviens. Tu vois, je m'en souviens, je m'en souviens. C'est juste que ton, ouais, ton blast sur Twitch, je m'en souvenais plus vraiment. Bon, alors comment tu vas Ça va faire longtemps, dis donc. And uh, yeah, uh, just to say that Leo is currently fighting Konsume. I have no idea whether or not he likes this matchup, but for now, he did manage to lose the first round. Let's see if uh, Leo manages to bring it back. We shall see. Okay, good stuff from Leo. He gets the knockdown. Almost went well. Tried to go for the uh, command grab, but unfortunately, man. Ooh! Consume! Ooh, tried to. Ooh, did get the 6p into the heat knuckle, into the wall break. Let's see how this pans out. It is not a hard knockdown. That being said, Consume does have. Ooh, Lord gets hit by the closest counter hit. La pépère, je suis en plein Destiny 2. J'ai repris hier et toi. Toujours sur ce jeu, est-ce que je... Ouais, carrément. Mais je joue aussi à Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, ces, ces jours-ci. Mais ouais, le lundi, ça sera forcément soit du Guilty Gear, soit du... Euh, soit du Grand Blue, en effet, ouais. je, je joue rarement, je fais rarement des jeux solo, ouais. <rire> je sais que tu préfères quand je joue à des jeux solo, mais ouais. J'ai tendance à plus jouer à des jeux... Euh, à des jeux euh, multijoueurs, on va dire, surtout de combat. And the first match goes to Consome, actually, man. Bring some heat to Leo right now. Let's see how this fans out. Yo, Amethyst, bonne année, l'ami, ça va bien, gros. And here we go with the knockdown from Leo, trying to get that sweet, sweet corner carry. Goes for the mix, mix, mix. Also got the cavalry behind in order to bring Consume in the uh, the corner, actually. And here we go with ooh, Consume, trying to go for the midi uh, Gruda. And here we go, the Roman cancel Potemkin Buster. This is gonna do a hell of a lot of, of ooh, damage. T'as changé de perso, par contre. Oh, moi, je joue pas là. Je joue pas du tout. Là, je... c'est un, un tournoi. C'est un tournoi, c'est un tournoi. Là, je suis en train de... Je suis l'organisateur du tournoi et je, du coup, je... Comment dire Je commente en même temps en anglais. Et je me charge de l'organisation aussi, du coup. And here we go uh, down to the... This is the second round of the... The second match, actually. And Consume getting the heat knuckle. A little bit too far to get the wall break. Yes, indeed. But look at the damage already. Leo definitely in a tough spot right there, has to endure all of this very, very nasty damage. Already down to a sliver of health. Oh, and getting hit by the Hammerfall. Look at this, Leo in a very tight spot, man. Getting led 2-0. to zero. What is Leo gonna do? Definitely not an easy matchup, if I might say. But it might... Ooh, that is a very unfortunate start from Leo. Thankfully for him, he didn't get hit by the... Ooh! By the, uh, what's it called? By the, um, uh, by the follow up guru, though. And here we go with, oh, little Faust is here to save the day, as always. Man, and Consume definitely aware and knowing that matchup right there. Preventing Leo to really start his game where he's really feeling comfortable. That being said, here we go. Ah, uh, Leo almost in the corner. Tried to go for an air to air, but man, the, the freaking, the butt doesn't lie. The butt of. Of Pozemkin doesn't lie, and this is gonna do a lot of damage as well. Boom! Wall break, yes, wall break it is. What's gonna be the follow up? We shall see. Oh lord, and the big 6p right there from Leo even gets a follow up. Oh no, that was an unfortunately time midi from Leo got grabbed on his wake up. Oh, si, est toujours au Japon. Yep, toujours au Japon. Et là, c'est deux Japonais qui sont en train de se fighter, se friter l'un et l'autre. De très bons joueurs d'ailleurs. Leo, c'est un joueur qui a gagné une major, une majeure. Euh, C'est-à-dire un, un énorme tournoi en Australie il y a, enfin, il y a à peu près quelques, ouais, il y a quelques mois de ceci. Et du coup, euh, son adversaire est aussi très, très, très fort aussi. Donc ouais, c'est cool, on a pas mal de bons joueurs ce soir. On a pas mal de joueurs pro aussi, ce qui est vraiment, vraiment génial. And here we go with the corner pressure from Leo getting hit by the 6p. Oh, you're here to see it. 
Let's see how this pans out. Oh! Consume wanting to add that that wall, that side switch, but unfortunately mistimes it. Ooh, did not. Was a little bit late right there on his attempt to get the uh, to get the back dash right there from uh, from Leo. Ooh, nice sweep right there. Ah, Leo getting hit by the hammer fall into the hit knuckle. Is that gonna juggle with the bomb? No, it's not. Unfortunately for him, and getting hit by the quick dust. What the hell, Leo, man, Leo eliminated. Tirata sionnaire. Ah oui, sacré tournoi, c'est un gros tournoi, gros. C'est un énorme tournoi. Ah bah, tu m'as fait Pinocchio. Attends que je te montre vite fait là. Le résultat, voilà, je suis Pinocchio. <rire> Pinocchio. Anyways, here we go with the close up. J'en passerai sur Discord, je viens plus trop sur Twitch en fait. C'est pas un problème, Sensei, ça m'a t'inquiète pas de souci. Et euh, merci d'être passé quand même. Bonne année à toi aussi d'ailleurs. Euh, bon, bonne année et joyeux Noël aussi d'ailleurs. Donc, euh, ouais, c'est cool. Merci d'être passé, ça fait très plaisir. Anyways, here we go with Hagiata with the close-up pressure, getting the sweep, gonna get the corner pressure, the corner carry. Ah, uh, here we go with the close-up pressure, and Hagiata trying to keep Megana in the corner, and rightfully so. Gonna get that juggle into the uh, Wild Assault 4, the guaranteed hard knockdown. And here we go with Hagiata does not want to get close to Megane with the, thanks to the threat of the Hiragi. Oh, and the bomb has been placed, but yeah, unfortunately for them. Uh, yeah, oh no! I got a getting air grabbed. Here we go, the corner pressure. Nice check right there from Hayala. Uh, oh, and managed to get the Roman cancel into an aerial attack for the kill. Ah, oui, c'est vrai, bonne année, joyeux Noël, bonne anniversaire, j'espère que tout ça. Tout ça, tout ça, gros. Merci beaucoup, gros. Here we go with the OTG damage. We have the corner. Uh, pressure right there from Hayala. Let's see how Megane is going to deal with it. Ah, getting open at the most opportune times, unfortunately for them. And Hayala gonna get that. Ah, uh, yep. Gonna get the close up pressure. Okay, and here we go with Hayala getting the corner pressure and the kill. Good stuff from Hayala with the perfect, by the way. Damn. Hayala definitely feeling themselves. Definitely in the good uh, sense of the way, by the way. Extremely strong Jackal player. There is nothing we can say about this to contest that, abso that absolute fact. Anyways, here we go. But Megana is definitely no slouch. I can definitely see them bring it back. But that being said, they have to deal with the pesky little um, the pesky little minions first. Very nice use of the minions to catch the back dash of Megana. Megana in the corner. Goes for the grab. And here we go with the 50-50. Ooh, goes for the straight though. Goes for oh the front oh man and now you're getting that side switch too getting the bait on the yellow roman cancel into the roman cancel for the kill the extension combo and the kill oh yeah taking a pretty nice lead not going to lie let's see how this spins out nice 2s right there from ah megane unfortunately lands straight on a 6 speed megane again forced to block for their lives and oh nice air grab again man from I got a good stuff. Just one second. There we go. And we are back to the neutral. I got a trying to close the gap, but woo was right on time to not get hit by the uh, by the fires right there from Biken, whose name is actually Kenju. Okay, and back to the neutral. Ah, uh, with the Roman cancel catching the back dash, Megane straight into the overdrive. The Elysian Driver! Uh. Good stuff from Hagiala takes the second match as well, good lord! This is looking pretty bad for Megane, not going to lie. Let's see how this spins out. <clears throat> Give just one second, guys. Oh, you're good. Again forever, Elysian Driver! Good stuff from Megana. Gonna get the hard knockdown, man. It, this, this is looking pretty tough for Megana, not going to lie. Big 6 heat from Megane, man. Using again the freaking uh, guard point. Oh, but no! There is no servant on deck, but there is one right now getting hit right there by Megane, too. Oh, and the minion for the kill. With a perfect again! This is the second perfect for Hagiara in this current set, man. Things are definitely not looking pretty good for Megane. Here we go with the 6P. Hagiara with the perfect spacing. 
And the freaking snipe as well. Ah, got hit by the by the Kabari. Nice block right there. Uh, Megane trying to get a, a reaction right there. Ah man, Kabari a little bit too far to get any type of yeah any type of result. Getting hit by the six H as well. This is looking pretty tough. One more round is all that's needed for Agata to get the kill. Here we go, the close pressure. Trying to bait that yellow room and cancel, but Megane already got hit by it. Did not want to take the risk. And here we go, the Yozonsen. Man, I could not see this. That, yeah, that was a pretty crazy Yozonsen. And here we go with the close-up pressure. This is pretty much checkmate. Yeah, this is pretty much death right there. With the tab dust for the kill. And Hayala taking a clean. Tachimari versus Ibushi again. Roy. So, just as I have said it earlier, Roy is the teammate of Leo. And Leo was the one who sent Tachimari in the loser's bracket. So, let's see if... Roy can actually finish it all and eliminate Tachimauri from today's tournament. We shall see. But Tachimauri, definitely no slouch, was really... It went down to the wire against Leo, so... Uh, he's definitely bound to... Um, to... Um, to... Uh, how do you say it? Uh, to give Roy a run for his money. But as you know, Roy is definitely no slouch either. Reason for which he is a sponsored player. One of the best salt players in Japan currently. Let's see how this spins it out. Ooh, that was a pretty nice follow-up right there. And here we go with ah, the big driver. And it here we go with the corner pressure. Again with the big driver. Ooh, and the 6p for the kill. Good stuff from Tachimori. Gets the first round, actually. Let's see if he can continue in that way. Nice, uh, nice, how do you call it? Nice trade right there for Tachimori, actually, who actually managed to get the sweep in but Roy is currently applying the pressure goes for the wild assault to keep the pressure going we're in the corner and the freaking hog baker man the hog baker the bane of everybody who hates dbs oh but look at the damage ah guilty gear boom <laughs> ah guilty gear what is going to be? oh man and touch about waking up with the freaking oh Oh, uh, you want to use a Tyrant Rave? I can use it too, Mother Humper! Okay, yeah, let's see. Ooh, okay. Ah, yeah, of course. The Bandit Burger right there to delay their fall and catch Tachimali trying to punish him. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, big jump in right there for Roy. He's going to get the corner uh, positioning. He was definitely looking out for the DP. And here we go with Roy with the safe jump. A little sub pressure. And the 50 50. Unfortunately for Tachimali, he got open right there. Boom! Big five near for the well break. And on to the next battle. Well, the, ooh, the post well break. Nice. Tachimori catching Roy standing up a little bit too fast right there. Here we go with Tachimori. Gonna get the well break and the hard knockdown. And getting hit by the wake up DP from Roy. Man, Roy loves that wake up DP. Into, oh no, actually. I thought he was gonna go for the... Um, for the Tyrant Rave. Oh, and wake up. Ride the lightning. Ah, uh, yeah. Definitely thought that Roy was going to go for a DP or whatnot. Reason why he immediately canceled it into the back dash. And here we go. The closest for the kill. Roy gets the first match. Very nicely done. Let's see if Tachimori can manage to bring it back. We shall see. Good lord. And on to the next battle. Okay, here we go. The close up pressure. Oh, big DP right there from Roar right in the pressure of Tachimari. He doesn't give an F. Oh, good lord. Here we go. Close up pressure. Get what the... Ooh, wow, wow, wow. We had a, a pretty big uh, spike, uh, uh, lag spike right there. I hope it wasn't me. Big 6 spear right there from Tachimari. Goes for your head into the Tyrant Raid. Good stuff. And here we go with the pressure. Oh, and Tachimauri finally forcing Roy to pop the burst. Roy believing. Getting hit by the Hog Baker, though. Into the grab, into the Roman Castle, into death. Good stuff from uh, Tachimauri, man. Staying alive, bro. Getting the first round of the second map. Again, again with the Hog Baker, man. This has been the pain of Roy eating, getting a, t getting a taste of his own medicine, if I might say. Big, big Volcanic Viper. Oh, and getting hit again by the Hog Baker, man. Oh, boom. We're going to ride the lightning. Big Gazelle step right there from Tachimori. 
Gonna go for his setup again, catching Roy, pressing some buttons too, but thankfully for uh, Roy, that was a trade. Let's see Gazelle step. Oh, Lloyd now getting hit by the standing K, and they should do it. Good stuff from Roy. Staying alive, man. I'm staying alive currently in the, the lead, by the way, so. And here we go with the Gazelle step. Well, actually, no, it was the uh, uh, Gazelle step into the big driver. Here we go, the close-up pressure from Roy. Gonna go for the Wild Assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. Here we go, the safe jump. Roy definitely more wary of the Hawk Baker now. Ah, and this should be enough. Yeah, this is death. Bye, bye. Yeah. That was a very quick second round match, I'm not gonna lie. It's always very, very patched, close, that is. So, let's see how Tachimori actually manages to use them against the like of a professional player such as Roy. We shall see. For now, yeah, the pressure has definitely been in Roy's favor, but yep. Oh, you want to eat a DP? Eat a DP! Another one! Another one! No, I thought he was going to do it. That would have been so cool. But anyway, oh, here we go with Tachimori getting the jump in. Here we go, the jump in. No, the gun flame, the jump in. Big bandit. Oh, yeah, revolver. Almost got hit by the vortex as well. That would have been pretty bad. That being said, look at this. Roy with the corner pressure, and this is death. Yeah, yeah this is death. Good stuff from Roy. It's the first match. Uh, the first round, actually. And this is a set point, by the way. If Tatsujima Wari loses this one, it is a bye-bye for him. Go to wall break with the wild assault. Let's see how Tatsujima Wari does this. Goes for the straight up pressure. And here we go with... Oh, the... Oh, the iron bouquet. Good stuff from Tashimori, staying alive! Let's see how this spins out. <laughs> and on with the Bandit Bringer right there. Roy draws first blood, but gets hit right there, catching. Sending up a little bit too much. And this time around, not... Uh, not blocking that overhead though. Ooh! And here we go with the side switch. Tashimori with the side switch! Ah, getting hit by the far as well. Wow, that far as goes super freaking far, by the way. Oh, and Roy catching, getting caught. Standing up a little bit too often. Ah, big, big wild assault right there. For the hard knockdown. Ah, and Roy with the tick pressure. Getting hit by the burst though. This is gonna happen. Ooh, big hit right there from Tachimori. Oh no, he tried to go for the grab, the command grab. No! And he's going to die for it. Good lord, Roy with the clean three to nail! Eliminates that. Yeah, extremely strong players overall, both of them. Definitely looking forward to their growth. Seeing how uh, they are uh, going to well, deal with uh, each other, actually. <laughs> since they're going to play against each other today. So let's see how this spins out. Good stuff from both, though. And here we go, start of the match. Okay, still out. Definitely testing the waters right there. Gets the hit with the Tatami Gaishi. Got the spins out. And on with the freaking Yozan sent for the wall break. Actually, no, using the uh, Kenju for the wall break. We go with the jump in and a big wild assault and gonna get a full combo thanks to it. Who drops it? Unfortunately, goes for the Yozan sent, but man, the pressure is real. And last Nero getting hit by the overhead, well, by the jump uh, P for the kill. Very nicely done. And on to the next uh, round. Last Nero this time around, wrong blood, getting the wall break with the 6 HS. Last Nero jumping out of pressure, goes for the uh, forward Fukio into the uh, Shizuri Yuki. Uh, is it the Shizuri Yuki? I need to double check. I do believe it's the Shizuri Yuki. And here we go with the Roman cancel. And the 6 HS for the kill, man. And just like this, last minute taking the second round of this first match as well. Let's see, this is a pretty close match, not gonna lie. Who's going to break the mold and be able to take the. Wow, that was a 6 6 P. I have no idea how this actually. how this worked, but it did work. And big, big, big counter hit right there. Four is still not gonna get a save jump with the Tatami Gaishi. And it's... Oh, big Tatami Gaishi again. Big combo incoming. Is this gonna kill? Yes, it is. Boom! Kenji for the kill. Get out of here! 
Don't bring a sword to a gunfight, man. Good stuff. Yes, it was the Shizuri Yuki, by the way. Ah, I know my Japanese. Okay, good stuff from Stella Tings. The first match, pretty convincingly. Still out ready. Force to pop the burst. And here we go with the... Oh! The corner carry. Here we go with the... Oh, Zarame Yuki. Zarame Yuki. I freaking hate this word. This, this uh... Zarame Yuki. Yeah, Zarame Yuki. And you're good. And here we go with the Roman cancel. Big combo for La Snero. Doesn't have any tension bar in, uh, in order to get the hard knockdown after the wall break, though. And here we go with the jump in by Stella. Gonna get a corner combo. No, a little bit too far from the, the, the corner, unfortunately for him. Here we go with the... Ooh, man, that was a pretty sick grab. And again with the grab from Stella. Goes low this time around. And La Snero with the wall break, uh, with the, the yellow room and cancel. Nice blocks from La Snero, but unfortunately there's only... So much uh, mix-ups you can block one after the other. Here we go with the second round. Still uh, taking a pretty nice lead. Was forced to pop the burst though. Very nice, just uh, instant block right there on the Shizuri Yuki. Uh, is it the Shizuri? The Kamuri Yuki, my soul. My bad. <laughs> Kamuri Yuki, yeah. The concerts. Anyway, here we go with. Ooh, yeah, a little bit delayed. 6 p.m. Unfortunately for him, didn't hit still. And Stella with the Stella with the confirms off of the Kabari right there went straight into the Roman count. So that being said, here we go with the last time the close up pressure against the two HS was for the double Fukio. Oh no, it got explode and this is death. Bye bye. Good stuff from Stella, man. Taking the second match as well. What is Lasnello gonna do? What are you gonna do, Lasnello Sound? Tiana spins out. Still has one more chance to stay in the corner. Uh, in the corner, in the, in the tournament. And here we go with the Tatami Gaishi man. They're still uh, catching Lasnello, backstepping a little bit too often. But Lasnello did manage to force it out to pop the burst. Unfortunately for him, he gets jumped on. Man, that was a sick use on Sen. Straight into the... I forgot the name of this overdrive. The sin, sin shu, something, something. The name. Let's check it real quick. Into the tsu, the Tsurane Sanzu Watashi. Yeah, here we go. And here we go with the block right there from Last Nero. Getting almost hit by the overhead. And nice stuff from Stella. Gonna get the wall break. With the follow-up. With the fully charged dust. That was a lot of damage, by the way. Good lord. And here we go with last time. And the confirms gets a side switch that was probably unwanted. That being said, here we go. Oh, lord, he got the bait on the Tsurane. On the Tsurane Sanzu Watashi. And look at this. Last time on the verge of gonna get the kill. Almost got it. He did get the hit with the... With the... Uh, Zarame Yuki. But yeah, unfortunately, he wasn't able to finish his... Uh, well, he did finish it later on, though. Saving this set point ball, if I might say, nice six speed that would trade better than nothing. Forcing Stella to pop the burst, and Stella, man, with the freaking air to air combos, nice six speed. Almost got the follow up after the Fukio, and here we go with Lasio going with the fully charged dust. This is gonna be explosion time. Boom! A uh, nice side switch that was sick! Almost got the kill though and got the bait on the burst and just like this still uh, getting the the, the the win actually three to on to the next battle 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 Good lord let's do something Yeah good so what's guys on this uh Okie dokie Brids and Cookie Who's gonna take it home? We shall see and here we go, Leo versus Roy. This is going to be a big match. It's not even the finals yet. This is only a match in the loser's bracket. We are in the top eight, by the way, guys. Oh, big bomb right there. And Leo getting the juggle. Almost got the bait on the, the, on the burst, too. And here we go with Leo. Oh, getting hit by the Bandit Bringer, though. You hate to see it. Here we go with the Bandit Bringer as well. Oh, Lord. Uh, Roy almost got it, getting hit by the overhead. A nice spacing from Roy gets d S. And this is gonna kill. Yeah, this is gonna kill. Rave! Good lord. The damage on this dude. Okay, let's see how this pans out. 
one second, guy. Ah, it's done it. Okay, here we go with the close-up pressure and Leo making good use of the invincibility frames of the overdrive. Cancel into with the Roman cancel in order to uh, in order to not get hit by the meaty of Roy on wake up. Oh, and the freaking overdrive yet again. From Leo, the bone crushing excitement. Not enough to kill them, but definitely going to deal him a hard knockdown. And you can see Roy getting hit by the overhead syringe. Leo staying alive and putting one on the board. Well, one round on the board, that is. Definitely checking Roy for them pesky uh, dashes. Oh, too far to get the grab. And Roy baiting that grab, by the way, and punishing accordingly. Big damage incoming. Roy, ooh, almost getting hit right there. Ooh, and here we go, the weight. But nice awareness from Roy. Choosing to block and not getting hit. Ooh, that lord. Ah, Leo is definitely gonna burst. Yeah. Oh, no, and that was a safe freaking setup. Good stuff from Roy. Gets the first match, man. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Leo, yeah, losing the first. It's only the first match, so it's fine. But I yeah, definitely Leo going to have to uh, be careful there. Okay, here we go with the bandit revolver. Roy with the confirms goes with the extension station using the wild assault. And goes for a safe jump. Goes for the close-up pressure. Ooh! Leo noticing that Roy didn't go for the cancel. For the 50-50 uh, the mix-up there. Using the Roman, uh, Roman cancel. But that being said, Roy was able to seal the deal regardless. On to the next battle. Wow, wow, Leo getting all sorts of hits in. Almost got hit by the Vortex. Too far for the uh, optimal punish, though this is unfortunate for him. And wow, Roy. Running from one side of the screen to the other just to get a grab. And it worked. That's the funny part. Roy using again some Wild Assault Bar right there. Not the Roman Cancel. In order to have more opportunities. And here we go with the Snip Snip Snip. Leo going for the safe jump, putting some fire in on that wig. Oh no, he got the side switch, he definitely didn't want it. Yeah, uh, again, died by exactly the same setup. This is so unfortunate for Leo. Down 2-0. to zero. What is gonna happen? Roy on the verge of eliminating Leo. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the... Ooh, close up as far as counter hit. Good stuff from uh, Leo getting the juggle right there, unfortunately forcing. Roy to pop the burst. And look at the damage already. This is looking pretty good for Roy. Going straight for the Tyrant Rip. Go Takua Irane! Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, again, man. Leo using the bone crushing uh, experience not to get hit. Ooh, and here we go. We're going to the other side of the. Oh, the freaking screen. Well, unfortunately for Roy, he wasn't able to get the hit with the. Uh, the bandit bringer right there, a little bit too far from the corner, unfortunately for him. Still managed to get the kill still. And just like this, we are on the set point. If Roy manages to win this one, he will be sending Leo out of the tournament. Uh, efficiently just eliminating him from it. Let's see how this spins out. Big far S counter hit. And here we go with the, uh, the juggle and the wall break with the wall, the wall assault. See how this spins out again, man. Ooh, too far to get the forest. Oh, and this is gonna be death. Okay, good. Finally, good burst right there from Leo. Goes for the overhead. I almost got the clean hit, man, from the gun flame. Ah, yeah, this is looking pretty bad. And man, what the cojones on this on this dude. Good stuff from Roy. Exxon will be sad that he did not witness. Because he would have given a very, very educated input on it. But we shall see anyways. So Megane versus Stella. Who is going to win? And on to the first match. Here we go. Kabari time. So Stella rocks the blue uh, biking. Whereas Megane rocks the red biking. So fire versus water. Who is going to win? We shall see. Again, on to the neutral. Megane going straight for a grab, but very nice tick from Stella. Gonna get the grab, and it is 
Ah, oh, it is Tatami guys. She's time straight into the Tsurane something something. I forgot the name. It's such a such a very hard uh, hard overdrive to remember. And first the game goes to Stella. Very nicely done. Get the Tsurane Sanzu Watashi. Okay. I'm gonna get it. Oh okay, here we go. And Sutira getting the hits in right there. Goes for the cross-up. Uh Yozan Sen this time around goes for the low. Megane definitely not out of it yet, but still bleeding right now. Did for Stella to pop the burst though. Here we go with the cross up. Very nicely done. Air grabbing the bag dash. Yeah, this is next level. Uh, next level reads, man. Again. Oh, big 2 HS right there from Megane. From, from Stella, actually. Oh, almost got the follow, but still it was enough. You could see Megane trying to abari his way uh, on the Oki, but yeah, Stella was just there checking every single time. No, you do not press a button there. No, stop pressing a button there and just getting the kill in the process. Very nicely done. That being said, here we go with the Kabari. And still out. Ah, getting the 2S counter hit, man. See how this pans out. Uh, you have been Kabari. Very nice bag that from Stella. Getting the Tatami Gaishi and the full combo goes for the cross up. But man, Megane aware of it. Here we go to Kabari. Nice Tatami Gaishi to cover his escape. Ah, and Megane going for the follow up. Should be able to get a full combo right there. Ah, okay, good stuff. Yeah, I won it. Was probably worried that Stella had bar, so could wake up with the overdrive and definitely did not want to get hit by it. Uh, no, drops the Kabari, but it's still okay. He's still always on point when it comes to even dropping his combos. He knows what he has to do. He knows what button to press. Does not want to get um, uh, to get pressured for free or to let his opponent get out of pressure for free. That being said, here we go with the counter hit, man. That did a lot of damage and. On to the next battle. A nice air to air right there from Megane. Gonna get the Tatami Gaishi and oh, drops the combo though. Oh, big two inches right there from Stella catching Megane. Trying to get out of the corner. Oh, big freaking Yuzan Sen, man. That was sick. I tried to go for the cross of Yuzan Sen, but man, Megane was aware of it. Let's see how this spins out. Big close HS straight into the Suzune. Uh, Tsurane Sanzu Watashi. I need to remember this freaking this freaking uh, move. Tsurune Sanzu Watashi. I'm gonna get it. Energy with the two S. Air to air in favor of Stella getting the juggles. Almost got the follow though. Ooh, and here we go with the corner pressure. Made Tatami guys. Mega pressing buttons right there. Getting the far S counter hit. We go to see on send too far to get the hit. Oh, and again going for this for the fake cross up again with the grab man still uh, doing a good job Is that gonna be enough? Ah, uh, no, it's not but at least still is gonna get the positive bonus Got the spins out Nice jump in right there. I'm trying to go for the grab But Megane knowing this going straight for the bad dash not getting hit by it And Megane with the delayed goes on sent Forcing Stout to pop the burst Oh, what? no! No, that was so sick. That was so unfortunate. And the jump in for Megane gets the kills. That was so crazy. That went down to the wire, though. Good lord. Good stuff from Megane, man. Bring it back. He's definitely on the verge of losing it. So I probably lost a little bit of his wits at the end. He was a little bit stressed out and unfortunately uh, didn't manage to close and finish his meal. We go with Kabari. Air to air in favor of... Oh, still uh, getting a full combo. That was sick. That was so beautiful. Holy freaking lord. Here we go, the Tatami Gaishi. Kaboom! Getting the full combo. Oh, but Tatami Gaishi, unfortunately, uh, ended up mis ma making him uh, drop his combo. Nice spacing from Megane, aware of the uh, the Shibari. Um, the Shibari. Ah, uh, the Shibari state that uh, that he was in. But still, unfortunately for him, still managed to come on top. On to the second round of this uh, third match. Uh, oh, big forest counter hit from Megana gets out of the corner, goes for the ow oh, for the jump in. You know, six P right there. Very hard to six P this uh, this this move by the way. Still, definitely aware of, uh, definitely knowledgeable on the bike and matchup. 
seems a little bit more knowledgeable than Megali. I'm going to lie. Here we go the Kabari war. Each trying to Kabari each other. Nice 6p from Megane. Goes for the Tatami Gaichi. But man, still, uh, man, with the quick Roman cancels. Okay, the quick Roman cancel. Ah! Ah, nice stuff from. Ah, uh, still, I tried to go for the tap dust and goes for the close speed for the kill. Man, still, up to the one, man, on the verge of el eliminating Megane, who was a very, very strong Megane. Uh, who was a very strong uh, Viking player. Who actually sent Roy in the losers, if I'm correct. They are very strong, man. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go, the jump in. Oh, that freaking back dash. Instant air dash, back air dash. Wow, the combos are real, man. Still definitely working. Putting in the work, man. Oh, getting the jump in. Getting the grab, and there should be enough to kill. We are on set points. Let's see if still I can manage to seal the deal or if Megane is going to bring it back. This is a... Um, this is a fight not only for staying alive in the tournament, but also to protect your honor as a bike and maid. You do not want to lose a mirror match. No one wants to, definitely. So I can definitely understand. Oh, but man, uh, definitely playing out of his mind right now. Checking everything in the book and getting the kill. Oh, getting the freaking punish on the burst as well. And still, uh, just like this. With a lot of combo possibilities and uh, overall very fun to play. I played her very, not too much, but the little that I dabbled in, she was very, very fun to play with. Parent Roy spotted, yeah. And of course, it's always it always feels good to lend the, the heat again, I'm not gonna lie. That being said, here we go with, man, Consome! All, already starting very strong right there. Let's see how this pans out, but Hagiara, no slouch at all. Let's see if he's capable of handling this storm that is Consome. I got out in the corner. Ooh, almost got the punish right there on the whiff to grab from Consome. Should be able to get, yep, the Elysian Driver. Elysian Driver! Good stuff from Hagiara. Gets the hard knockdown. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, got the punish on the Golden Yellow Roman Cancel. Ooh. Wow. Consome going straight for the. Oh, the Potemkin Buster. And just like this, he's gonna reverse how the tables have turned. Good stuff from Consome taking the first round with that comeback that nobody was expecting, I'm sure. Good stuff from Consome. Well, you know, once when you're playing in spot, you have to be wary that you are going to get Potumkin buster, uh, Bustered in. And from there, it can go down very, very quickly, very hard. So, yeah. But good stuff from Consome. I get out currently with the, uh, with the pressure in the corner. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, Consume with uh, the pressure has to hold it. Again, man. Oh, uses the reflect right there. Not. Yeah. Uh, and finally, Consume forcing Hagera to pop the burst. There's a huge life lead for Hagera getting hit by the. Yeah, by the Garuda, unfortunately. Friend. Nice back dash right there from Hagera. Just pop things, indeed. <laughs> wow, and that flick, though. Getting rid not only of the minion, but of Hagera, who's trying! Trying to make their way towards uh, Consume. That being said, yeah, that was checkmate right there. Unfortunately for Consume, who had a very good idea, but unfortunately didn't quite work out for him. We go with the butt fall. Consume with uh, the uh, with the Garuda impact right there. Catching. I got trying to backdash a wee bit too much. I got with the adequate punish on the hammer fall. Here we go with the corner positioning. I get up bring in the heat, forcing Consume to pop the yellow room and cancel. Almost got the jungle right there, that was so unfortunate. And wow, I got a punishing the wild assault attempt right there from Consume. Consume again in the corner. That being said, oh almost hit. Uh almost hit Jacko out of the air right there. In from the air, actually. Let's see. Yeah, you can see Consume using the wild assault. Got the hidden. Okay, he did get hit or uh, get rid of the minion again with the 6P. Nice jump in from uh, Hagara using ah, the yellow room, the, the wild assault. Ooh. Big mega fist right there. Ah, and this is gonna be dead. Yeah, it's probably. Oh, it's not actually. Not over till it's over. You're, we might see this like this, but Consume is literally one hit away from. Yeah, <laughs> one hit away from winning. 
Ah, uh, careful there. Ah, uh, no, and the Abari wake up from Agyara, who manages to steal it. Good stuff from him at the end. Yeah, still a chance for Pod Bros, yeah. Uh, unfortunately for him. He had the correct idea, but yeah, Hagera was a little bit too... too finicky. <laughs> Didn't want to stay in one spot. Here we go to Garuda Impact. Ah, oh, and the Pod Buster! Good lord. And here we go to Garuda Impact again. Double Garuda Impact. Triple Garuda Impact. Big slider head. Unfortunately for him, got hit by the minion. Ah, oh, okay, here we go with... I get up. Trying to bring in the heat. Big. Uh, big hammer fall. Ooh! Ooh! Catching Hayata. Trying to get out of the corner in there. No, you don't, sir. Why are you jumping? This is a no jump zone, sir. Or ma'am, should I say? And here we go with the flick. Getting rid of this pesky minion. And the Pud Buster. Come here. Come in my arms, pretty baby. Here we go, the Garuda, and it's back in corner time. Nobody likes to be in the corner. Ooh, this is a bad spot. This is actually a pretty good spot for Hagata now. Ah, uh, this was a miss time. Um, uh, slider head, unfortunately, for, uh, for Consume. Consume currently in the corner, having to deal with pressure. Landing that Garuda impact, though. Catching Hagata, cat, uh, backdashing a wee bit too much. Ah, uh, yeah, a little bit too low to the ground to get the hit on the minion. Oh, lord! A flying Garuda! Oh, nice use of the freaking... That was crazy good, man. Of the... Um, how do you call it? The point guard, the guard point. <gasps> and the pot badger for the kill! Boom! <laughs> Nailed it! Nailed it! Good stuff from Konsole. Getting the second match pretty convincingly. Well, a little bit clutch as well, not gonna lie. And here we go with the jump in. Almost got ooh the hit with the gold, uh, the gold. Um, how do you call it? the gold burst? Big jump in from Hagen. Also managed to get out of the corner. That being said, it wasn't without uh, losing some life though. Here we go with the close up pressure. Hagen forcing the uh, how do you call it? Uh, forcing the uh, the 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 the, the, the uh, or yellow Roman cancel with it or the burst, the burst probably. Slider head again. Too far to get the hit with. That pesky... Oh, Lord, and the jump in from Hagara. And here we go with the close-up pressure. Consume with the uh, very nice tick on the grab attempt. Ooh, this is bad. Ah, here we go with the Mega Fist, and Hagara should be able to get with the Elysian Driver. No, he drops it! But it's still fine. Man, Consome, man. The patient of this dude. But still got opened up, unfortunately, by a minion. Stuff happens, it happens. Anyways, here we go with the next battle. The reaction is pretty sick, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see what is gonna be. Ah, uh, the mix. Nice flick, no one's home though. Big slider head, very nicely done. Trying to catch Hagyara on his jumping frames right there. Nice jump in right there from Hagyara, almost got hit by- Ooh! Man, Adibar in favor of Hagyara though. That was an unfortunately time put Buster's attempt though, because Hagyara was already in the air. So let's see. Nice jump in right there. Ah, trying to get the hit. Woo! That freaking grab attempt from Hagyala, man. This man knows no freaking fear. <laughs> yes, it did juggle. Is that gonna kill? This is gonna kill, isn't it? It is! <laughs> Good lord, the damage is out of this world! That was crazy. That was crazy. Good stuff from, uh, from Quantum Man. Oh, nice jump in from Hagyala, though. Again. Definitely, uh, just like that, you are dead, sir. Or ma'am, should I say? That being said, yeah, things are looking pretty swell for Hagyara. He's currently in the lead, too. So one, uh, actually one round of piece, one match of piece. One round of piece as well, but the life lead, the life lead is un incont incontestably in favor of Hagyara. But it can go south pretty easily. Careful, we're one heavenly pod buster away from disaster. Oh, wait! Wait, I lied. We're actually dead. Kaboom! Out of here, mama! Good stuff from Konsome. He takes the second match as well. The third match. Good stuff. Holy freaking lord. And the punish on the burst was pristine. Yeah, the YRC bait was crazy, man. Yeah, me too. I thought it was a Mega Fist as well, man. And I think that Hagia also thought it was the case. But no, man. Konsome, man. I'm telling you, this pot is... Oh, good lord. This spot is 
really on par, on, on par with FAB. I'm not even lying, guys. This guy is as strong as FAB. Like, in Japan, you have three very, very strong pot. There's FAB, obviously. Then you have Nikol Jiru. And you, you also have another dude called Nikol Jara. He's not as known. And then you also have this dude, Konsome. These are, like... I was gonna say the Trinity, but there's four of them. Oh, in heaven, they fought faster! Boom! <laughs> Good lord! That was sick and the freaking back making for the kill! That was sick a -roo. That was sick a -roo. Good lord! Oh, the big wild, white assault! And the free- Ooh, man! Hagata, Hagata is exploding right now, man. Getting hit by everything out of this world, man. This is looking pretty bad. Not gonna lie, and the big 6p into the heat knuckle. Good lord, this is looking very bad for Hagata. Not gonna lie. Good lord. When the big bust lands, man. Yeah, yeah. You already lost, man. I mean, if you're pot, when you get hit by the heavenly pot buster, like the match is usually already lost. You lost the psychological warfare. You can see, yeah, uh, you can see Consummate trying to, yeah, to really get close because he knows, oh, Lord, no, too far to get hit. Oh, careful there. Oh, and the good, the mega burst, mega burst. Oh, the butt fall, the, the, the butt fall. Good Lord. And here we go with the corner pressure. One hit is all that Consummate needs. All you need is love. Oh, and the freaking, you hate to see it. Okay, yeah. That being said, look at this. Yeah, this is gonna be an opening. Very nice reflex. Big Mega Fist. Ah, oh, and then get hit still. But not over in the back. Mega Fist for the kill cone. So many sins. I got that in the loser's bracket. La, 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 la. Okay, we're good to go. On to the loser semifinal. Let's see who wins it. We shall see. Consume FAB always deliver a great watch. Very well played by Jacko. Yeah, definitely, man. Then let's see how this pins out. Big 6k counter hit right there from Stella. Unfortunately, too far to get any sort of conversion off of it. Let's see how this pins out. Ooh, tried to get... Ooh, the jump in, but still, got even better. He got a grab. Ooh, trying to bait that DP, that burst right there. Nice uh, 6s right there from Roy. Gonna get the wall break. The... the yeah, he's gonna get the wall break. With a Tyrant Race! Great. Not enough to kill though. So it does have two bars. Let's see how this pans out. Oh man, it's not just landing casually right in front of Roy. Not expecting to get hit, but unfortunately he did. That being said, it's not over till it's over. And let's see. Oh, big gold burst right there from Ah Still unfortunately gets jumped on. You hate to see it. It's gonna be big. Ah, nice bar from Still. I guess it's two HS counter hit. Enough to get the follow-up as well. Oh, big vortex! Good lord, even got the side switch but drops a combo! Big! Woo! And he's got the side switch as well, man! Still has been pristine with the side switch, man. It's been working so good for him. Oh, good lord! Good lord! Okay, and here we go with the wall break. Time rave. Nope, wild assault. Let's see. Good lord, and the closest for the kill. Still uh, waking up with some buttons right there. Trying to instill the fear of Hiragi, but the fear cannot be installed if you don't hit with Hiragi first, still a sound. Anyways, we are going to see how this pans out. The Roy with the beautiful spacing right there gets the counter hit. And here we go with the air tower from Stella, gets the forest counter hit! Gets the Tatami Gaishi right on the uh, Fafnir attempt from Roy as well. That was sick. Big stuff from Stella. Definitely wary. Ooh, closest right there. Big Yuragi right in the block strings of freaking Roy. Oh, good luck. Oh, he's got the juggle combo. Oh, Stella trying to go for the air to air right there to try to catch Roy out of the air, obviously. And he said he would go the close up pressure. Stella using the yellow Roman cancel, but man, Roy with the chicken jump unfortunately got out of, uh, got out of pressure. And here we go with the wild. Throw into the Roman cancel and to you die. Good stuff from Roy. Getting up for and up on for the uh, the second match, the second round of the second match. Roy with the pretty nice uh, the nice movements right there, man. Really getting out of Stella's way. 
preventing stuff from hitting him, but just as I say this, still uh, managed to get the hit it. Ooh, tried to go for a nice, a nice uh, reset, I suppose. That being said, this is looking pretty bad for still uh, getting hit by the 6 HS, though. Let's see how this spins out. And yeah, uh, you can see still uh, still trying to input that. Oh no, the Kenju. Ah, oh, but gets hit by the forest. Okay, nice delayed burst right there from still. Gets hit by the six feet though, and this should do. Good stuff from Ibushi and Roy taking the second match as well. Let's see how this pans out. It's not over till it's over. It's definitely a steep, uh, a steep, uh, steep road. But nothing that still I cannot. Uh, accomplish even that he's a very strong bike and got the hiragi oh lord and the four is countered yo thank you very much for the fall shadow one shadow one roid and welcome to the bro joe's here we go with the six six yeah the fix the 50 50 the 50 50 mix up and roy with the six spirit there nice uh nice patience from stella didn't get hit by the six feet always was blocking Oh, nice. Walk on there from Cell. Not enough to kill, though. Goes for the Tatami Gaichi, but man, Roy already knows that was fake pressure. Here we go with the wall break. Thank you very much for the follow, B Amp, and welcome to the Brojo. And, ah, uh, 6P. Yes, 6P it is. Enough to kill. No, he doesn't get the juggle. Big Bandit Bringer. That being said, oh, too far to get the 2HS, man. Not in time. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, Lord, that air to air though from uh, Roy. Bandit Bringer. Ah, uh, Bandit Bringer again. And the wake up burst right there from Stella said, No, I want to have this round. Let me get this round. Ah, Stella. Thinking too much of the wake up DP for right reasons. And Roy taking this opportunity to steal it back. We are on set point. Is Roy going to be able to seal the deal? We shall see. Good Lord. And here we go with the Bandit Bringer. Close-up pressure from Roy. Nice punish from Stella. And go for the safe jump. And the close-up pressure. Should be able to go again with the safe jump. Look at the damage. Stale straight into the... The Tsurane Sanzu Watashi. Of course I know it. Of course. I'm totally not looking it up. And oh, big freaking close S. And the Hiragi a little bit too late. That A little bit too early actually on this one. Oh, and the corner combos are real. Tired Ray for the kill. And just like this, man, Roy takes it a clean three. Agyara versus Roy. Who's going to take it home? We shall see. Hmm. Okay, here we go. I hope you're ready, guys. This is not the last match, but it's definitely close to it. Agyara versus Roy. This is probably a run back, is it? Let me check the bracket real quick. I do believe it is a run back and that I gotta send Roy and the loser. Actually, no, I stand uh, incorrect. Megan sent Roy and the loser, actually. A bike and player sent him. And he just, uh, unfortunately, uh, he um, eliminated the last bike and player in this tournament. Roy did. That being said, here we go. Look at Roy, man. Looking pretty good with his combo. Oh, he wanted the burst so bad, but yeah. I gotta did not give it to him, and rightfully so. We go to Gunflame, big Fafnir, big ba Bandit Bringer, oh, that was an unfortunate, oh, or not, I lied, that was wonderful, and I got using the extension station to get the kill, yes, he does, with the minion shoot, very nicely done, good stuff, I got stealing it right at the end, man, very nicely done, goes for the 2k 2d, the backdash catcher 5000, exactly, man, that was crazy, man, I didn't expect it to catch it, though. That was really, really crazy. Good stuff. That being said, here we go with the close-up pressure from Hagara. Getting the oh, the overture with the Legion Driver into the hard knockdown. This is going to do a, sh <laughs> a heck ton of, of damage, by the way. Look at this. We've got the close-up pressure and Roy with his signature wake-up DP, of course. Ooh, the low profile using the 2K was sick. I don't know if it was intentional, but if it was, Hagara is a freaking genius. Good stuff. Yes, server so. moments. <laughs> Man, it, it happened. It's fine. It's fine. And here we go with the gun flam. Another chance for. But I think Roy was in the lead. That's the worst part. That's really unfortunate for him. Because he's down one match, but he was in the lead, I think. With the round, unfortunately. It was unfortunate for him. Anyways. I here we go with the minions. Nice vortex use right there from Roy. Forcing the burst. 
Ah, and again with the minion, you hate to see it. Woof, nice check right there using the 2k. Bit bandit bringer. Knowing that Hagera was gonna. Ah, was gonna. Ah, here we go with the mixes. Big combo right there from Roy using all of his burst meter to keep the pressure going. And here we go with the corner pressure. And this should do actually. Oh, this would have done actually if he. Ah, oh, man. Oh, the pressure is real. What? Which which direction are you supposed to block? And the first round of the second match goes to Roy again, I do believe. Oh, here we go with the juggles. I get out with the wall break as well. Man, I didn't believe it would actually result into this. Here we go with the gun flame. Oh, the big two S counter hit. And the full combo in the process. Roy going with the safe jump. Uh uh. Nope. Ah, good stuff right there from Hagara. Ah, goes for the tab dust. Is Roy gonna pop it? No, he doesn't, but he gets hit by the tab dust. But he actually throws it right now. Oh, catches the bag dash from Hagara. Keeps the corner positioning. And oh, no, he drops it though. Better bring her again. And get hit by the 2k. Ah, here we go with the close up pressure into the grab. Uh, and it's oh a nice block though that was sick and the grab for the kill the hero burst that actually works man sometimes it does happen man you just have to believe you just have to believe bro that's all good stuff from roy gets the kill and uh, let's see how this pans out he is a genius indeed <laughs> and here we go with the corner pressure i get out with the grab yeah, it goes a little this time around, but nice blocks from Roy. Gets open by... Oh, the burst, man. That burst came right when Roy actually needed it. That was really nicely done. Nice grab by Roy. There we go. I ah, tried to go for an empty grab as well. Uh, catches the freaking backdash too, man. This is going to do a ton of damage. Okay, Roy keeping his a meter. Ah, okay. Locks the 2k right there. And here we go with the minion. The minion sandwich. Ah, uh, Roy, uh, it's a battle of the YRCs. Ah, uh, yeah, the minions are in. Oh, no. Ooh, the jump in. No. Oh, and he catches the burst. That was such an unfortunate burst. Poor unfortunate burst. That was so unfortunate. Uh, it's life, it's life. Okay, anyways, here we go on to the uh, the second uh, round of this third match. The one who takes this one is really gonna feel a a, br a, a, a breeze of fresh air, man, because he'll be in the lead. Right now, it's one to one. Roy definitely not in the best situation right now, though. Ah, I guess grab. I gotta definitely wanting to get this round. Does not want to let Roy have the lead. Here we go, the minion pressure. And the wall break. Ooh. I got out. Didn't have enough time to pop that uh, Elysian Driver. And Roy holding on to his burst for the next round. Getting perfected in the process, though. And on to the next battle. Big Volcanic Viper right there from Roy. Going for the save jump. Nice Abar right there from I got to get. Well, of course, Roy to pop the burst first and foremost. I get hit by the Gunflame, though. And a big... Standing HS, close HS. Ah, this is death. It's not. Oh, Lord. This is not death, actually, but anything could kill right now. Any chip damage. Yeah, I gotta need to be wary of his. Uh... Oh, and the guy flipped running out. Running straight into it. Roy takes the lead 2 to 1. Making a comeback right now. Potentially trying to go and meet Consume in the winner's bracket. We shall see. In the winner's final, in the grand final, I think. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord. Here we go with the bandit revolver. Big volcanic viper counter hit. Ah, Roy gonna get the wall break with the tyrant rave. A heck ton of damage right there. Good lord. Well, it's, it's, it's okay. All things considered. It's only half of her health. It's nothing. Anyways, here we go with... Uh, the faint not getting hit by the 2k though oh lord here we go the vortex and getting grabbed by Hanya. man that's unfortunate 
And here we go. Hi, Gala getting uh, the Elysian Driver for the hard knockdown. Is this gonna hit? Oh, that might kill, actually. Nah, it's off. Nah. I, I capped. But still, hard knockdown. Looking pretty good. Ooh, no 6P. And you don't want to let Roy live. Especially right now. Look at Roy, man. Ah, uh, and that freaking... Ah, uh, wait. Oh. I thought that... Yeah, I really thought that Hagata was gonna... It was gonna burst there. Just like this, we are on set point. If Roy wins this one, he makes his way to the grand final and eliminates Hagata. And being said, Hagata is not gonna go down without a fight. As you can see right now, trying his best to keep the pressure going. Finally getting the opening, but didn't get the juggle. Though, and getting hit by the forest counter, and you hated it. I get out with the 2k2 uh, D Abare again. The 2k2 D, keeping the pressure going. And here we go with the pressure. Oh lord, big vortex and the juggle. The trade in favor of Roy going straight for the corner combo. Wanting that sweet, sweet, sweet positive bonus. See how this spins out. Oh, and catching the back dash right there. Nah, no hit right there. Nah, oh, big work deck. Ah, uh, yellow card indeed. Nice six spear right there from I get up. It's not over till it's over. One hit might be enough, and it's gonna be enough to not die for Hagara. Hagara saving this ball right there. He still needs another one if he wants to stay alive. Or absolutely needs to get this one if he wants to make his way to the grand final. Nice fuzzy right there from Hagara. And there we go, the close up pressure. Yeah, I guess the opening with the 2k 2d catching Roy, standing up a little bit too quickly. Elysian driver for the boom! For the hard knockdown. What is Roy gonna do? Oh, the wake up DP! Oh no! No, that was unfortunate for Hagiara popping the Elysian Driver right on the burst. That was so unfortunate. Here we go. Oh, nice check right there. And Hagiara with the perfect. That is a statement right there. That means I do not want to go out like this. I still have more roads. I still have more chances in front of me. I don't want to go out right now. Let's see if Hagala can manage to make their way to the grand final to get their revenge against Konsome. We shall see. Here we go with oh Lord. With the pressure, Roy using the gunflame to try to dispatch these pesky minions. Nice checks right there from from Hagala. Ah! Here we go, the bandit bringer. Almost got the punish right there. On the recovery of the bandit bringer. Ah, uh, Roy first popped the burst. Things are looking pretty bleak for him, I'm not gonna lie. I got going for the uh, side switch. Almost got the 6p there. Ah, uh, yeah, Roy trying to read the Elysian driver, but nah. I got not giving it to him. Here we go with the grab. Goes for the save jump. Oh, and the air 2 are in favor of Roy. Goes for the vortex, but no. Ah, uh, nice air 2 air again. Is that gonna kill? Good lord it is. It is gonna kill. Good lord. And again, Roy with the freaking set point. One more round is enough for Roy to make his way to the grand final. That being said, here we go. Roy going a little bit too far. I tried to go for the 2S. Wow, nice back dash right on the 2K. Of Hagera gets the follow-up Roman can. So drops it up. Hagera not letting this go away. Not letting this run on Scaff. Yeah, man. Saul is the freaking powerhouse, man. It's Saul damage. It's uh, a Guilty Gear type of damage right there. Anyways, here we go back to the neutral. Hagara does really playing as... Oh, no. Getting hit by the forest. This is looking pretty bleak. Here we go. The Vortex. And this should do. Boom. And Roy finishing his plate. Three to two. That went down. Konsome versus... Ibushigan Roy, they must show! Let's go! Let's go indeed. Okie dokie, Breads and Cookie, this is the grand final, the potential last match of today. Let me go get some water, guys. I'll be right back, okay?
Okie dokie, sorry for the wait. And here we go with Consome and the Garuda Impact Pressure. Ooh, catching the back dash right there from Roy, but Roy with the perfect spacing. And here we go to Slider hit. Ooh, reflect time. Oh, is this gonna kill? I think it is. Good move. And Consome taking the first round. Very, very good move. Well, it actually went down to the wire, but good comeback from Consome. Gets hit by the forest counter hit, though. Here we go to close up pressure. Wow, that was a very strange timing for the pressure, but definitely working in the favor of Roy. Ooh, too late for the charged up dust for the wall break. Wow, nice combos right there from Consome, man. Okay, and here we go to the far S counter hit again. Roy with the Roman cancel. Oh, goes for the double freaking Roman cancel. And this should be enough to kill. Yeah, this is gonna go. Damn, Roy with the combos right there. That was sick stuff. Good stuff. And on to the next battle. The one who wins this one is going to get the first match in. Let's see how this pans out. What's up, pressure? And Roy getting hit by the Mega Fist and the Groot as well. And ooh, White Roman cancel. Best in the game. Here we go to the 4S. Again with the hammer fall. Nice delay right there on the Roman cancel to try to catch Roy uh, pressing some buttons. Garuda impact. Hell it is. See how this spins out. Wow. Oh, no getting hit by the second hit of the uh, S. Ooh, nice hammer fall. And just like this, man, Konsome with the first map. Very, very convincing right now. Definitely making pot use. Ex uh, Making Pod look extremely, extremely good right now, Consume is. But yeah, definitely. I can say that, like, the current patch has definitely benefited Pod. Especially with the white Roman Castle. Nice bag dash right there from uh, Consume. And to catch the, um, the midi, uh, what's it called? The midi, uh, the midi Fafnir. And here we go with Roy in the corner. Goes for the air to air. With the back Mega Fist in the front Hammerfall to catch the back dash of Roy. Why Roy caught sleeping right there? And this is gonna come and bite him in the butt, by the way. And that's gonna be enough to kill. Look at the damage. Big, big 6H for the kill, man. Consume looking unstoppable right now. This is crazy, man. This is really crazy. Good stuff. Here we go. The oh! Why would you do a Podimgen Buster there? Right in the freaking block. In the. In the in the, uh, the offense of your opponent. That was crazy, man. Here we go to Guru Impact. Oh, here we go to Reflex. So, oh, not enough to catch Hammerfall. <laughs> that was so funny, though. Hammerfall, 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 Hammerfall. That was so funny. Good luck. Ah, here we go to Buttfall, though. Okay, and Roy with the gun flame trying to keep uh, Consume on the floor, but man. Good luck. Ah, uh, Guru Impact. Gunflame indeed. A nice hit right there. He gets a confirm off of it. And the corner pressure and the corner carry. And here we go with Roy with uh, the wall break. Okay, what's going to be next? Oh, the big hammer fall. And straight into the heat knuckle for the kill. Doesn't let the time to Roy to pop the burst at all. Or, or to, doesn't give him the time to think about popping the burst, if I might say. And just like this guy, this might be the last match of tonight. We don't know. We shall see. And here we go, the blocks from Consome. Almost got the hit with the slider head. Oh, that was a freaking. He definitely did not want this. Ah, that was so unfortunate. Yeah, and this is gonna. Yeah, this is definitely staying in his mind. That was so unfortunate. Here we go with Roy and the uh, Roman, the wild assault for the wall break. Big, ah, yeah. Nice jump in right there from Consome. Ah, goes for the wild assault. Nice air to air. Yeah, we can see. Ah, Consume trying to check them vortexes out. Ah, nice syndicate. This is death right there. I do or not. Yeah, uh, Roy trying to. Yeah, all right, here we go. Oh, yeah, there's only so many. There's only so many mixes you can block, man. Good stuff from Roy. Finally got one round there. So, see if he can continue this. And oh, God. Oh, no. You ain't dizzy it. This is gonna do a hell of a lot of it. And that was was that. Oh wow, this is not what he wants to do. We go with the Emmerfall. Ah, catching Roy trying to get out of the pressure and out of the corner as well. Garuda impact again. Oh, and catching the vortex right there. 
Just like this, guys, we are on tournament point. If Consume wins this one, he wins the whole tournament. Big wild assault right there. And the confirms are real. Big flick. Roy, ah, Roy getting hit by the 6P, yo. That is crazy, man. I smell a heavenly pot buster, though. Ah, big for Escalon here, though. Big Volcanic Viper. And Roy wanting to stay in the corner. Well, wanting to keep Consume in the corner. Ah, big Wild Assault. <sighs> yeah, Consume just contents to, like, not take too many risks, which is perfectly fine. Getting hits in here. Ah, oh, Lord, in the forest, man. This is going to do a ton of... Is this death? This might be death, actually. This might be death, actually. It's not. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, no! That was it. That was it, though. But it's still fine. It's still fine. We're still in there. So, Roy. Roy, staying alive, man. I really thought he was going to get pot busted right there. And if... Uh, if Konsumi had pot busted right there, right after the... The startup, a uh, Roman cancel of his uh, of his uh, reflect, of his uh, heavenly pot buster, he would have uh, won actually. That's unfortunate for him. Ah man, I ah, never go with the spacing from Roy. We're definitely taking it a lot slower than before. Doesn't want to overextend. Doesn't want to get hit by. Ah yeah, <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> ah man, and the DP man from Roy. Woo, big for HS, bro. Ah, this is gonna be a jump in or not? A bit too far for it. Here we go with the Mega Fist. Ah, back Mega Fist. Okay, air to air in favor of Consomme. Trying to catch Roy whiffing something, but man, Roy is being very, very diligent right now. Oh, he got hit though. Oh uh, no! Big hammer fall. Trying to catch Roy in his back dash, but yeah, not working too good. Ah, man. Here we go with the jump in. And here we go with the Volcanic Viper. Uh, things are looking pretty bleak. Ah, nice. Nice bait right there from Roy. It takes another uh, round, actually. Things are looking more and more in favor of Roy, not gonna lie. Yeah, he comes me trying to get things started. Nice spacing from... From Consumit. Ah, and the pot buster, boom! And half of your life, even more than half of your life is gone. Good lord, look at the damage. Oh, well, the song. Uh, you're in limbo. <laughs> and a regular standing came for the kill. And again, we are on tournament point. Big hammer fall start of, of the round. The double Groot impact straight into the pot buster. Half of your life is gone, sir. Oh, Lord. Lord. Groot impact again. And here we go, the bandit revolver. Big wild assault again. Good Lord. The version of Axel Steam. Very interesting. Yeah, you know? I like it too. Here we go, the wild assault. Things are looking pretty bleak. Uh, not enough to cancel. Not enough to roaming cancel. Groot impact. Roy forced to pop the burst to stay alive. It can really go either ways. Ah, especially with the with the standing S startup. Look at this. Your life is gone, sir. I like a lot of the X uh, version better than the X. Okay, okay, that's cool. Yeah, me, uh, me too. I, I I like I do like both actually. I don't have a preference. Both have good and better uh, version. Oh, and just like this with the tab dust. Just like this, console maser, bro.